Welcome to ihnani.com. This is the sixth video of Computer Fundamentals, Part 2. Level 1 Computer Internals. In this video, I will continue with the output devices. Output Devices An output device is any peripheral device of a computer that is used to provide the results of data processing carried out by a computer to the outside world. Some of the commonly used output devices are monitor, speakers, printer. In computing, input and output refers to the communication between a computer and the outside world. While inputs are the signals or data sent to the system, and outputs are the signals or data sent by the system to the outside world. In the following sections, we'll be covering some of the commonly used output devices. Monitor A monitor, or display, is also known as a visual display unit. It is the most common device, used for output purpose of a computer. It is a display unit like a TV screen, attached to the computer case, which is used to display textual and graphical information. It is the screen at which you are looking now. In this picture, you can see a typical LCD monitor. The monitor contains the display device, circuitry, which produces pictures from the electronic signals given by the computer, and a case or an enclosure. Older monitors used cathode ray tube, about as deep as the size of the screen. Most of the monitors used today are TFT LCD screens. TFT LCD stands for Thin Film Transistor, Liquid Crystal Display. For more details on monitors, please check out our tutorial on the same. Printer A printer is a peripheral, which reproduces data that is being outputted from the computer, on paper, or another medium. The data can be text, and or graphics. In this picture, you can see a typical printer. Many printers, are primarily used as local peripherals, and are attached, by a printer cable, or in most new printers, a USB cable to a computer, which serves as a document source. Network printers have built-in, network interfaces, typically wireless, and or Ethernet based which can act as a single printer serving all the computers on the network. A few modern printers have the capability, to directly connect to electronic media, such as, memory cards, or to digital cameras, scanners, etc. Printers that include non-printing features are called multifunction printers, MFP, multifunction devices, MFD, or all-in-one, AEO, printers. Most MFPs include printing, scanning, and copying among their features. These printers with printing and scanning capabilities in a single unit also act as photocopiers. Printers are covered in detail in our tutorial on the same. Speakers Speakers are typically a pair of devices, which convert electrical signals into audio. In this picture, you can see a typical modern-day computer speakers. They are also known as, computer speakers, or multimedia speakers, that are external to a computer, which disable the lower fidelity built-in speaker. They often have a low-power internal amplifier. The speakers, are connected to the computer's motherboard through audio cards, using, a standard audio connection. 3.5 mm stereo jack plug, which is often color-coded lime green, for computer sound cards. The internal amplifiers in the speakers require an external power source, usually an AC adapter. More sophisticated computer speakers, can have a subwoofer unit, to enhance bass output, and these units usually include, the power amplifiers, 
both for the base speaker and the small satellite speakers. Some computer displays have rather basic speakers built in. Laptops come with integrated speakers. Unfortunately, restricted space available in laptops means these speakers usually produce low quality sound. For an in depth coverage on computer speakers, check out our tutorial on the same. This brings us to the end of this video on output devices. Since it is out of the scope of this tutorial, and practically not possible to cover all the different output devices, we try to cover some of the commonly used output devices from each type. In the next video of Computer Fundamentals, Part 2, Level 1, I will continue with the computer software. You can find a lot of free video tutorials, training materials, how to videos and much much more at our site www.ignani.com. Check out the forum topic related to this tutorial on the site for all your questions.